an art attack. This is Art Attack. <laughs> Hello there. Welcome to Art Attack. How'd you turn yourself into a super fit human being in less than five minutes? Well, for a start, you don't need this. Let's see. Oh, you don't need this. What you need is this. A large sheet of paper or card and a strip of paper big enough to go round the front of your head. And you need to just twist this little end bit there. And this is a real good way of measuring the front of your head. Now what I'm going to do, take a pencil and draw a rough oval there, just using a strip of paper that I've just used to measure my head as a guide. It doesn't have to be accurate at this stage. That should do. And then you cut it out. And when you've cut it out, try it on for size. And if it fits, start bodybuilding. Right, now what sort of body do I really want? Thick neck. Now I think I need a muscle. I think I have two muscles actually. In fact, let's go over the top with muscles. Now when you're drawing muscles, I think it's just a case of drawing a big pile of balloons on your arm. There's an arm there. Another arm with a hand on it. And I see bodybuilder's chest that I've worked up on the barbells I had over there. <laughs> I don't think. And then let's put some trunks on down here. Now, I don't know why, but to me, these bodybuilding supermen always seem to have trunks on that are far too small. So there you go. And now, the old super strong legs, the muscles bulging, the knee. There it is. Down the bottom, muscle on the back of the leg. And now, for the feet, one, two, three, four toes, and a big one on the inside. And one, two, three, four toes. Good tip to remember, big one on the inside. And there's your feet. And when you've done it, see if it fits. Oh, I feel like a new man. What do you think? Yes, very nice. But so is this, colour it in, Cut it out, stick it to some backing card, cut a semicircle for your neck, a hole for your hand, it all adds to the effect. And what about this? Cut out a picture of a body from a magazine, cut off the head, stick it to some card. Yes, I think this is the body for me. So there you are. In less than five minutes, you can give yourself a brand new body. Of course, sometimes it can go hideously wrong. <laughs> So, with just a large sheet of paper and some imagination, you can change your body. You know the body I've always wanted? Nelson's! Then I could sit proud over Trafalgar Square. There are, of course, some drawbacks.
Hey, that's nice. Salt on black paper. You can get some terrific results. I've done a salt picture of Buckingham Palace. Well, top came off the container, didn't it? I think one of the easiest and most effective ways of drawing a picture is using scribble. I mean, let's face it, we can all scribble. Take a black felt tip pen and just scribble all over your sheet of paper like this and just go right back to the beginning there. Then take a coloured felt tip pen and just draw in, well, anything you like really. I'm going to do like a crazy zigzag design here. One just above the top there, I think. And then take a different coloured felt tip pen. I'm going to colour in one of these blocks here. That's it. And slowly, bit by bit, fill in all the blocks. And I think that's a very effective graphic design. Another way to do a scribble picture is to take a pencil and do a very rough pencil drawing. I'm going to do a pair of scissors here. That's it. And I think I'll do the Art Attack pencil. That's it, just very rough drawing. And then colour it in using felt tip pen. Right, I'm going to use grey here. Just go all the way down with your scribble. You don't have to be neat, as long as you just keep it to the boundaries of the pencil marks. A bit of blue for the handle, I think. That's bright blue. Going all the way around, scribbling. And that one. Again, you don't have to be neat. For the Art Attack pencil, I think we'll choose red for the tip. I like a fleshy colour there. And come all the way down, again, not being neat. And this is a technique a lot of graphic designers use in advertising. And when the felt tip is dry, the good bit. Take a rubber and just rub out all the pencil marks. That is, and then you are left with a very wobbly, shaky, scribble picture. Look at that. And with a bit of practice, you can actually do a scribble picture without doing any pencil lines. Just watch this. Let's see. I think I'll take black to start with. There we go. Try it yourself. Get scribbling. You see? You can use scribbles to make patterns or pictures. And they look great. I've done one. Have a look at this. There you go. Paul Gascoigne. <laughs> Hello, my name's James. And my name's Tony. This is our bird. It's an eagle. We made it to look like it's just coming into land. It's made out of gum strip and wire. Hi, I'm Lawrence Jennings. And I'm Simon Hillman. And this is our hawk in um, flight. Well, actually, it's coming to land. As you can see, the wings are gliding back. And we made it with um, gum strip and wire. Superb bird sculptures there from Hextable School. And that's an art attack using materials that I'd never even considered. Brown paper parcel tape. You know the type that you have to lick on the back and it tastes absolutely awful. Well, look what I've discovered. If you take one of these thin carrier bags, the type that you get at a supermarket checkout, and if you scrunch it up into a sausage shape, a thin shape like that, and then fold it round onto your fist, into a loop, and then take some sticky tape just to hold on to it wrap the sticky tape around it's a bit tricky but persevere doesn't matter that that bit's sticking out and then if you take some of this 
brown paper parcel tape and you soak it in water. Now, you can lick it if you want to, but I think it tastes foul. There it is, nice and wet. Doesn't matter if you over soak it. And then you start to wrap it around your loop. There it is, just trapping in the end bits there, threading it around. It can be quite tricky to do. It's lots of fun to do. Very messy as well. So it's a good idea to do it on some newspaper. Just keep threading it around there, pulling it nice and tightly. When you've run out of paper, just tear yourself another strip off and keep going till you've covered the whole loop in two or three layers. When you've done that, leave it to one side to dry. And the amazing thing is, when it's dry, it goes absolutely rock solid. Then you can put a design on it. Now, I'm going to use some acrylic paint here. It's best to use acrylic paint. You get some acrylic paint maybe from school in the squidgy bottles. I'm just going to slosh it on to show you how it works there. Now, you don't have to use paint. You can use some of this coloured paper. Now, I'm just sticking it on with a bit of glue there. You can use both if you like. Now, you know, I never throw away any paper that I get on presents because it's always got this fabulous, shiny quality. It doesn't matter if it's covered in glue at this stage. So what you do is just press it all down there. Leave it to one side to completely dry. Now, when it's completely dry, and that's very important, you then just slosh on a load of PVA glue. Again, the school glue. Now, I keep going on about this stuff, you know, but I think it's brilliant. It looks very messy at this stage. Don't worry, because when you've completed your design, let it dry, covered it in PVA glue. If you leave that to dry overnight, it comes out looking like that. Now, the PVA glue has dried hard with a real shiny finish on. And look at that, a fabulous piece of designer jewellery. It's a bangle that you can put on your wrist. And if you crunch your paper into different shapes and you wrap, wrap the paper tape around that, you can create all these pieces of jewellery. And they were all done with less than a pound's worth of brown paper parcel tape that I bought from a stationery shop. And you can try other things. Try it yourself. Give yourself a brown paper tape attack. And I'll see you next time. And so will I. These are great.